Hello, this is Sybil Harmony, and this is a video about healing the father wound or grieving the father. So whether you have a father who you're missing, this is Father's Day in June. <laughs> so whether you have a father that you're missing, um, who has passed on and you're wanting to connect with him, um, I do have some cards coming through for whoever's watching this video of it's not your fault. And um, I did make another video about how to connect with your deceased loved ones or whether you're healing a wound of a father that a father wound that either was not there for you or uh, was a, a, a not a happy and supportive relationship. Um, so we're going to talk about that too. So the father is the provider, the protector, the hunter, the, um, the, usually the one that's out in the world, um, you know, protecting and serving. And so, you know, these are our heroes. And, um, if you didn't have a father who was a provider and who was present in your life or who was abusive, then you have father wounding. So it's important to develop that part of ourselves. We all have a male and a female side because we have uh, both parents and because we've been male and female in past lives. And so the male side is the side of us that pro provides and protects us. And so if you haven't had that, you may have had to figure out how to do that for yourself. A lot of times women over um, in America over accentuate, figure out, you know, I better be tough. I better be strong and I better take care of me. And they can have jobs. They kind of put on the pants and start running the house in a male vibration. Now that's okay. If you're doing that at work, it doesn't always work in a relationship really well. If you have another strong male, if you have a more feminine like a man who wants to stay home and take care of the kids and has a nurturing side which is actually really healthy or they're a new male so the, the then that can work um but it's also important to stay in touch with your feminine energy because your feminine body needs that softer ying so we have yang which is that thrusting forward action getting it done giving doing protecting and then we have the yin, which is the feminine, receptive, intuitive, soft, flowing, feeling, intuition. So the women's, so we have, we need both in, within us to have, be a healthy being. And the more we heal that and, and balance our male, female energies, the better we feel and the healthier we are in relationships because you don't need the other part of you is not missing. You're a whole with another whole human being rather than I just can't practically manage anything. I'm just, uh, you know, or get out of my freaking way. I'm going to do it and you better not tell me what to do. And so we find a way to cohabitate and to blend and to create harmony and alignment within ourselves and with others. A lot of times women try to make men more like women. Like you're not talking about your feelings. You maybe should talk with your girlfriend or your mother or your sister about your feelings and don't try to make men like you. We also, I found, don't really know how to respect men. Um, and it's... You know, of course, I'm not a man, so in this life, I do, I have been in a lot of past lives, so I kind of understand it, but um, giving respect, and my father was respectful, basically, when he wasn't controlling, he was respectful of me in his older age, and knew how to, you know, and, and as he lived his life, led uh, dignified and um, maybe didn't always do the right thing, but intended to do the right thing, whether I agreed with that or not. And so I could respect him for many things that he did do. 
and the ways that he did provide. And um, he didn't really know how to communicate very well, but that wasn't really um, his strength. Okay, so um, let's pull, um, well, let's pull another card, but let's, let's talk about men in our society. So men in our society are more likely to commit violent crimes. There's not a lot of women in jail for rape. I think it's an, an atomical reason, the ad, ad anatomy, but also because of what it means to be a man. You know, they're taught not to cry. Um, they're taught, they're kind of spat upon by society, not really respected unless you have a lot of money or power. So then we have bullies or men who are growing up without fathers or without having a positive role model of how to be a man, how to provide what really matters, and that it isn't um, how many, uh, like unless you wanna be single and just be with a bunch of different women, but how there can be respect in being a man who comes home every night and um, how that can be you know, something to be admired rather than how many babes you've got on the side or whatever, you know, or what kind of car you drive. And so part women, you know, women fall for that. Oh, he's got a really cool car. <laughs> or, you know, kind of he's a player. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're just single and you want to be a player, okay, but say you're a player, you know. Um, or then women hate men because they're all like this. They all do this because of one man or so, they attract men who did that because they didn't have a good relationship with their father or male role models or got something going on with their relationships. So it's about respecting men, but that doesn't mean that they're not to be held accountable. And recently we just had a big bully, giant baby man as president. So this was really a bad example. There are, you know, men who are like, say, Barack Obama or even Biden, who are empathetic, who are more fatherly, who embody more the new male that is more, um, well, not a misogynist and not a bully. <laughs> and so we have a lot of mass shootings in America, mostly by young men. There are not a lot of women mass shooters. And so this is where it's like, there's this some idea, like if I can't be the hero, I'm gonna be the villain. And if I can't be a really cool guy, I'm gonna be the worst nightmare guy. I'm like, where did all this come from? How does that, so you can have power over others or get respect or be feared, like something like making them fear you gets you respected. That's not respect, it's fear. And so how does a man get respect? Well, probably from learning from men who know how to command respect. Those might not have been the best examples, but um, the new men, the younger men, I think maybe, um, I would say maybe Keanu Reeves or or I can't, nobody's coming to mind right now. Um, let's think, you know, sports, sports icons are a lot of times look up to, but they can, you know, do physical things, but can they really, I think like maybe Morgan Freeman, he's helping with bees or something. I don't really know him that well. I mean, I don't know him, of course, personally at all, but, <laughs> I'm trying to think of like Martin Luther King, that was a man to be respected, who was remembered through all of time, through his love, his compassion, and his service to his people, to the people. And so to all people really, because what is done to one is done to all. And so teaching through that, instead of having absent fathers, there's a lot of single mothers, there are single fathers too. So it's not all about that. that. But um, respecting men and teaching them how to respect themselves, not getting, letting them go off the hook, holding accountable for their behavior. So there's a difference. And respecting them not just because 
they're a bully or they can do sports or something because but because of who they are you know because they're protectors providers heroes uh guardians um and so that let's pull another card for if you have a father on the other side that you're missing a message wanting to come through oh, okay so saying life is a series of choices choose love and then another card from fathers for the other side for father's day on the other side earth is our school so we're here to learn and develop and grow and so those are really cool and then let's see if i have a oh, father's message for fathers who are healing the father wound it's your intention if you know you had a, not a good relationship with your father healing that because what you do not forgive the lesson we are all here in earth school learning and developing and learning about who we are and we have to keep coming back and we get stuck on the karmic wheel if we don't forgive people or we have fear and so we want to get to a place where, and and that's the quickest way for a healer or a teacher to lose clients is tell them who oh, you have to forgive you know people want to feel better but they don't want to do any work about it <laughs> forgiving means letting go of the pain so that you're not still suffering for something that happened last week or 20 years ago and so that you're not carrying it from lifetime to lifetime you get the lesson and so a lot of older souls sign up and then newer souls sign up for this too because they have are, are gaining the experience so a lot of times we pick our parents we pick our fathers to learn certain things from them and when you get the lesson whether it was just that i was meant to be strong in myself because of the way i was treated whether you get the lesson or not i mean whether you if you don't get it you will come back and learn it again with a more difficult father <laughs> that's kind of the way it is here only brave souls come to earth but um i'm hoping that you can heal yourself and be there for yourself and provide and protect yourself and that's also why we have guides or source creator which could be a woman but it could also be a man and we have those types of beings here to help us when we don't have a physical father or, or we have a father that's abusive and unsafe and so we are healing and you were responsible for what they did but you are responsible once you're adult to heal yourself and to forgive and to let go so that you can be whole you can be at peace you can be in balance with your male female energy and so i hope this has been helpful for you and please like and subscribe and happy father's day